So trying to accomplish that goal of being like the best primary care behavioral health training in the country, um, you have to have like an unbelievable group of supervisors. And it, it's interesting about um, how amazing our supervisor team is. Um, you know, obviously, uh, uh, Dr. Beachy, who is the director of behavioral health for Community Health of Central Washington, I mean, is just very well known in the um, integrated care community and primary care behavioral health. Uh, you know, she presents and consults around the country. Um, but the thing that I think is really amazing about Bridget is how much she just leads by example as being what is a true BHC and then advocating for everything related to behavioral health within the health center. So interns and fellows come in, they look and they, I think, have this, uh, this leader to be able to view and say, I wanna be like her. Like, and that's what a lot of our fellows and our interns lead by. It's like, I wanna be like her, that uh, about how she advocates, about how she asserts herself, about how uh, she's very focused on uh, productivity and uh, very focused on metrics and different things like that, and how she frames meetings and how she utilizes Studer and all these different things, just, just unbelievably so. You know, and then Dr. Wahlberg, um, you know, Arissa, what she's been able to accomplish as far as the training program, being the site director for Community Health of Central Washington is truly unbelievable. Um, she has this internship um, like a well-oiled machine, like every single experience through orientation is meticulously looked over what can be improved, structurally in it, um, about how experiential learning is set up, bringing in guest speakers, and we're talking like experts within the field like Larry Mausch and Jeff Reiter and Kirk Strassel, like all these people to come in and speak to our interns. Um, and then how she organizes the different rotations to make sure that there's experiences that you feel comfortable when you start the rotations. Um, it is just amazing. And I think the other thing that Dr. Wahlberg, Arissa, that she does so well is that she's approachable. Like every single intern, if you would ask them, like, can you approach Dr. Wahlberg with a question or concern? Undoubtedly, they're gonna say yes. You know, and then Dr. Omer, as far as Ruth, it is amazing to see, because you know, there's so many different experiences or that every, all of us bring in. And Ruth is unique in that you know, her background wasn't necessarily in integrated care, but she has flourished within integrated care. And she still has this background of kind of like neuropsychology testing um, and is just an absolute tremendous clinician that she really bestows upon the residents and, or the, the interns and the fellows. And particularly when you're completing your integrated reports, she's the one reading over those, giving you know, great feedback and really um, uh, pertinent feedback to them. And then also she oversees the quality improvement process project that um, is really looking at enhancing and improving the health system and impacting the health system within your work outside of just doing patient care. How can we as BHCs make our health system better uh, by changing some of the workflows and doing some PDSAs uh, for projects? So she has done an unbelievable job. And then obviously um, her counterpart, Dr. Uh, Stephen Omer at Yakima Neighborhood Health, you know, I remember uh, when we were starting to do the venture of Yakima Neighborhood Health and not being sure about just what the experience was going to look like and how it's going to evolve, I could not have imagined what it has blossomed into. And it's because of Dr. Omer and his work over there, how supportive he is on the, of the interns, how much he pushes the interns, how much he pushes the medical system and the medical providers, and has literally created a context um, that just breeds primary care behavioral health that once you go there and now it's becoming more of an expectation medical providers are saying I want more of this I need more of this and how much that changed the culture there and that's due to Dr. Omer and talk about not uh, an easy feat in any means I mean Yakima Neighborhood Health has been doing the integrated care model in the sense that it is now for only the past three to four years and to see it now where it is it's all due to Dr. Omer and it's just is absolutely amazing to see and I would also say you know, I think we talk a lot about, and you have, as interns and fellows, you have the most interaction with the psychologist as supervisors. We have so many BHCs here um, that are just unbelievable in supporting our, our, our fellows. Every single um, month I get the round with the fellows and the interns and I ask them, can you identify an individual that um, you know, goes above and beyond that I can write a thank you card to? Nine times out of 10, Michelle Lindsley and Sarah Ortner are identified as people that go above and beyond, whether it's answering questions, providing um, great feedback, supporting them in clinic, um, taking handoffs, doing team care approach, like whatever it is, they provide unbelievable support for them. And they also provide unbelievable didactics and experiential learning. Like our entire team um, of BHCs uh, throughout our organizations are just incredible. Um, and that's where, Coming back to that original goal of 
we want to make this place the best primary care behavioral health training in the program, and there's a lot of things that influences that. A huge factor is the BHCs that work here.